So today guys, I'm going to show you how to make a shadow puppet theatre, such as this one. All you'll need is a cardboard box, maybe some paint to decorate it, a glue stick or two, some scissors. You'll need some baking paper if you want to make a screen like mine. And of course, if you want to use it as a shadow puppet theatre, you need a torch. So this is mine, the finished product. I'm going to show you how to make it. It shouldn't take you more than maybe an hour at the most if you paint it and decorate it as much as I have. Hope you have fun guys. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my box and I chose a black box because obviously when you put light behind it, you want there to be a really big difference. So I would recommend maybe painting your box black before you start, although we're gonna decorate it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I have a black box and I have drawn with a light colored pencil or chalk. Um, three sides of a rectangle and I've left a little gap around the edge because on the inside that's where I'm gonna stick my screen for my um, shadow puppets um, so yeah you draw three sides of a rectangle and then you need to cut it out so do it with a ruler so it's nice and straight and then get someone to stab a little hole so then you can cut along so I'm gonna cut mine out and then we're gonna come back and I'll show you what I do okay next. so I cut out my three sides of my rectangle and I pushed the flat forwards so I'm gonna keep this forwards flat bit as a little bit of a lid so I can close the screen and keep my shadow puppet um, screen safe when I close it and put it away but if you want to turn this into a normal theater for maybe your dolls or um, some little figurines this could be a nice stage front that you can keep as well. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to stick on the inside some baking paper. So baking paper because I want it to be fairly transparent, not completely see-through, but enough so I can shine light through. And when I put my puppets in, you'll be able to see my puppets. So we're going to do that next. And then we're going to stick some sides on because my box is not very wide, as you can see, it's quite narrow. So I'm going to stick two sides and the top on to make mine larger. If you're using a bigger box, then you won't need to do this. You can just cut the back off, but I didn't have a box like that. I did one half my paper wasn't wide enough to go all the way along so I'm going to do the other half and then I'm going to show you what it's going to look like next okay guys so I finished my screen I did a little bit of Pritt stick down here just to um, bring the two bits of paper together um, and I put a little hole and a string so that when I want to close up I can um, from the inside I've gone all the way around all the edges including the bottom edge so that no light is going to escape through, it's going to be completely trapped within my box. Now like I said, I'm going to add an edge on either side and top to make this a little bit longer. But if you guys are starting with a bigger box, you won't have to do this bit. It's just that this is the only box I could get, like I said. So I'm going to add my edges and then we're going to start decorating it. And that's the best bit. Okay, so you saw me cut out this weird moustache shape looking... Thing, which is going to go on the top of my theatre. So I've painted it gold, I just used a tiny bit of this, not a lot, and it was really cheap, so these are these tiny little tubes. Um, and now I'm just going to use some yellow, 
that I've got right there and a little bit of white and I'm just going to make some little details and then I'm going to go over it with some pen and make it stand out. So you're going to go, you guys are going to see me do this bit really quick. So whilst my bit is drying, um, I'm going to make my curtains. So I'm using this red fabric. You don't have to make curtains. I just thought it was pretty fun to add on. So I've got two pieces of red fabric, the same length as my box. So they'll go from the top to the bottom of the box or the top to the bottom of the stage. They don't have to be the same width because we're going to gather them up. They're just for show. So I've got two pieces, I'm going to make two curtains, one for either side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a hot glue gun, but you could use a little bit of Pritt stick if you'd like, or sellotape to stick them together. I'm going to create folds. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the top like this. Now if you're using a glue gun, you make sure that you're staying safe and you keep your fingers away from the glue. And I'm going to press it together and fold. And then when the glue dries, you have like a little fold like this. And I'm just going to do that all the way along the top. It's pretty quick, pretty simple. You just keep folding your fabric. Ooh, don't make a mess like me. Like this to make some folds. And it makes it look like the, cat, the curtain is like pulled together. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make like an old style theater stage, I think. That's the look that I wanna go for. If you don't wanna decorate like this, you don't have to. By all means, you could stop and just have a nice simple one. But now I'm gonna make mine look a little bit fancy for you guys. And show you what you could do if you spend a little bit of extra time. So yep, I'm just gonna go all the way along, keep going a little bit at a time, folding my fabric to make a pleat. That's what these are called. And one more fold like this and squash together and then I make sure I wait for the glue to dry before I play with it because the glue is extremely hot. I'm going to do the same thing with another piece. I'm going to make gathers or pleats really really quickly, really simply and I'm going to make a top piece. Now the reason why I'm doing both ends of this one is so I can make it look gathered like that old stage at somewhere like the Royal Albert Hall or somewhere on Broadway. So again, I'm using little bits of glue. You can use tape, you can use Pritt stick to do this. You don't have to have a glue gun. It's just what I have here with me right now and it's quick, so I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna gather up the sides of each, uh, of each end of the fabric. And then I'll show you what I do next. It's nearly finished. Oh, got stuck.
top bit, bottom bit, all done. Okay, so this is what I've done. So I glued on my two panels where we did the gathers just at the top, either side of my stage. And then I did that piece where we did the gathering either side, I pinned it or glued it to each end there. And then in the middle, I did a little tie with a little piece of string. And now I'm gonna glue this bit like this. And can you see it looks like old theatre curtains? Does that look pretty cool, doesn't it? So I'm gonna glue that and then I'm gonna stick my piece on top and then I'm finished. And then we can have a look what it looks like when we shine a light through the back of it. Okay guys? Okay, I'm going to stick my bit on top. Okay guys, so this is it all finished, all glued together. So I just tied back my curtains to make it look like the show's open. I glued on my top piece and I did two little tiny um, theatre masks, happy one and a sad one. And on the side, I just took a cardboard box out of the recycling. This one used to be for tea bags. And I painted it black, it's still a little bit wet. And I stuck it onto the side and that's where I can store all my puppets that I make next. Or any of my characters that I want to be in my show. Um, on the front here, our little flap that we kept, I did a little bit of string onto the front. And I tied a little button, or I glued a little button behind here, so that when I lift this up, I can close up my theatre and I can store it away. Cool, huh? Let's see if it works. How did you think it turned out? It's pretty cool, huh? So, in our next video, we're going to make some puppets to use in here. I'm not very good at shadow puppets. I should have probably have learned before I did this video. Oh, there's a rabbit. There you go. So, if you guys want to use it as a shadow puppet theatre, there you go. If you want to take the paper out any time, it can become a normal stage for all of your um, dolls or action figures or whatever you want to use for this for. Um, I think it came out really well. So, the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to make some shadow puppets. Really easy split pin figures. And I'll let you know more about that in the next video. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.